right, good day. Welcome, Leo. This is going to be your reading, all right? Uh, general reading, like always. So, um, any newcomers, welcome. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. All right, and yeah, well, let's see what we have for Leo. Leo's energy. What's going on with Leo's? Give me their energy, please. All right, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share if you like the way things are done on here. You never know what the readings are going to be. I go with the flow, go with the vibes, all right? So let's see what we have for Leo. One more. Actually, one more. All right. Give me for the Leos, please. <clears throat> for the Leos, please. Got the masculine. Pisces got that, too. The will. Oh, it wants to come out the self reflect and the new beginnings. All right, so do we have some Leos here that are self reflect, doing a lot of self reflecting? All right, self reflection goes a long way. That is what you are supposed to focus on self-reflection that is where your focus should be all right don't hide behind a mask all right put your energy towards self-reflection you're strong you're brave you're fierce like a lion right you just got to put maybe the ego down a little bit all right sometimes people don't see it and it's nothing bad everybody has ego right some people have more than others. It's just the way it goes. But, you know, this is to kind of help people see things. Not to be mean or cruel or any time uh, reading doesn't, isn't all roses. No, it's not to be mean. It's to help others see an outsider looking in. Because I see you looking at your reflection here, Leo's. All right? Part of you feels like you're drowning, like you're sinking. And it's because you need to do a lot of self-evaluating, a lot of self-reflection. So give me for the Leos. Thank you. We've got the lady. Enjoy the growth. Reap the rewards. So Leo, I feel like what you're focusing on is growth, being more, more lighthearted. All right? Focusing on being more light. There's the fire at the top. All right, I feel like you hide a lot here with the moon. You you get a lot of like, maybe you have stomach issues or have a lot of anxiety and you feel it there, you know? It's really what I'm getting here. So, wow. We have Father Sky and the Magic Guardian here telling you to trust in the unknown and to unlock the magic within what I'm getting with that is that there it is. There's the fire. Leo, you are here. Your energy is. Ignite your passions. Yeah, look, at we have the high priestess here. A lot of important information is going to be um, showing up. Little spiritual teachers might be popping up in your life. Animals, stuff like that. Look into what they symbolize, okay? I'm going to try to get more of the uh, animal readings out more often because I feel like if people just follow that that'll help them a lot and then if you come to tarot between those two things that's really going to help you all right figure things out in your life and looking into your birth chart all right so let's get for the leos here so self-reflection the minute you self-reflect and you come above the water because look at you it's like you're drowning. Your head is barely above water. And now look at you. After you self-reflected and saw yourself drowning, you saw that image, you felt that image, and you pulled yourself out of it. You grabbed your others, your low self, your higher self pulled your lower self out of here. That's what self-reflection will do. All right? A lot of people carry things and hold on to things that they shouldn't be doing or holding on to. You have to release 
And if for the masculines, it's okay to cry. It's okay to shed a tear. It's okay to show emotion. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay, masculines. All right? If any woman tells you anything different, they're no good for you. There you are, Leo. There's more fire here with the Queen of Wands. You're just feeling like... Like you're failing. You're really struggling, Leos. The sun. More fire energy. You are just... Needing to focus on positivity, positive affirmations, and I wish I had my affirmation cards. I'm going to do a, a spread for you, Leos, on positive affirmations, okay? And I feel like you really need to listen to sound healing, all right? Because there it is again. Somebody's feeling like they're ready to die is what I'm getting. Somebody's drowning really, really bad. I don't know if they're contemplating harming themselves. I hope not. If anybody is contemplating that, please don't. All right, there are hotline numbers. There are a lot of things out there to help you, okay? We have the tower with the three of wands. With the page of swords, you're feeling very restless. God damn, Leos. Nine of swords. I... I don't know. I don't know if something happened in a marriage. If there's a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Could be watching somebody and like going into depressed mode. But it's like you're sitting here waiting for things to come in and all that's coming in is bad shit. Bad shit. We're going to get this wrapped up for Leos, please. I normally don't get this dark for Leos. I've gotten a few dark readings, but this is like, like seriously, if somebody's thinking about self-harming themselves or if anybody's suicidal, I don't have the hotline number because this Ten of Swords keeps showing up. get this wrapped up for the Leos self-reflection is key here we got the judgment somebody needs to keep persevering somebody's feeling very wounded very exhausted yeah there's a lot of hidden shit here and I was getting that with the moon here it was something with the moon here because in each of these cards each three of these cards all right there is like full moons you need to release things all right we got the judgment here it's time you're going through a reckoning i feel i feel like you're going through like a spiritual awakening yep either that or it's like the masculine side needs self-reflecting got the death card God damn. And then we have the star that flipped out. A rebirth leads to healing. What is this about? I mean, these are major arcanas. We've got the tower, the sun, the judgment, the death, and the star. Five. Five, and we saw I saw the five of wands. You'll reap the rewards the minute you do this. You have the ability to overcome this. Yeah, you're going to celebrate here. Things are going to look good. All right? You you just keep going. You're growing. You're doing good. All right? You're getting in touch with your emotions by self-reflecting. Then we have the abundance with the Ten of Cups. So keep going. And then we have there. All right? You're going to join your higher self. All right? You're going to join even maybe with somebody that's... A spiritual uh, counterpart of yours all right and you're gonna take action on this new journey all right a new opportunity 
So you have a new beginning here, Leos, okay? So just keep going. That's the energy I'm getting. It isn't always about the straight definitions of the cards. This is the vibes that I'm getting, and I go with the vibes. Whether it resonates with one person, that's all that matters. Sometimes that's why the energy is so strong, because it's, I don't know, you're growing. All right? You're awakening. It can get brutal, but you got this. All right? Your head is still above water. You're going to pull yourself out of this. I. It's like, this might be somebody's first spiritual awakening here. We got the acceptance. Learning to accept things that you cannot change. You're growing. You're expanding. This growth is going to be beautiful once it's all said and done it's like you got to go through some shit before you can you know see that beautiful thing show gratitude all right towards this here because this is helping you all right be thankful because opportunities are going to start to present themselves to you leos all right purples and greens yeah i'm going to do a little energy another one here and I'm going to do a chakra and I'm going to do um, affirmation. We got the failure. You feel like a failure. You need to quit envying people. Everybody has challenges. They're just different. All right. Some are worse at times than others, but somebody's going through some shit. Whether they got divorced, I don't know. Something came to an end. Either an ending of a relationship, because we saw that two of cups, or I'm getting more of an awakening. That awakening is going to, but there's resistance here when it comes to purifying oneself and setting boundaries here. It, it's all about that self-love here because right now somebody's in the void, all right, because they need to grow. That's where their focus is, all right? Focus on growth, focus on change. Once again, we have the resilient card here. And then the gratitude, you're going to show gratitude when you release all right, expect the unexpected, all right, pull yourself out of this darkness, these extremes, and literally just surrender, go towards your abundance, you guys take action, use discernment, I could keep going, there's the acceptance again, all right, so I'm going to leave that there, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share if you wish.